Hey pilots, I've been promising for a while a first flight on the XF90, which I purchased recently. And here it is. We're going to see how it does uh, its very first flight out with me. I've not touched the plane before or flown it before, even in beta or alpha. So it should be interesting. We've got an interesting matchup as well. I'm up against an EF131, which I believe is specialized there, uh, despite the weird color coding that you'll see uh, that I use as a mod. So we're going to find out how to do this thing. I think we're going to do a brushing pass on this garrison to begin with and then uh, head on to the rocket base. And as, uh, as anticipated, not excited about the guns. Uh, these are the same 20 millimeters from tier nine. And uh, quite frankly, you know, they're just a pain. I didn't do well with them the uh, first time around in the uh, Banshee, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do well with them this time around the XF90, even though there are two more to deal with. So we're going to get in close. That's how I handled the guns originally with the Banshee. That'll work. And we're going to see if we can catch this P228. 600 meters is roughly where I want to start shooting at because I know myself. Let's see how the... Uh... There we go. Elevator going vertical. Works pretty good. Don't really want to go head to head with them, but we will. And I guess not. I guess going head-to-head -head with a Tier 9 British Heavy is not a good idea. Hmm. Now you know why I don't like the guns. <laughs> We're going to come over here, and uh, then we can make a decision if we want to go to a command center or a rocket base based upon uh, how things are going at the time. We might can help out in the command center and then slide over the rocket base take out this heavy which is the banshee so there we go one of the things i think is going to be key in the xf90 is probably not over accelerating because it's so fast right um, we want to make sure that um yep. there we go and there's the enemy bomber right there. Because we don't want to go so fast that we outstrip our guns, right? Our ability to uh, uh, shoot things down. Uh, that guy's heading back into the zone and should be an easy strike for us. Also give us a little bit of an understanding of the uh, dive profiles. Got my flaps coming in. Good. And let's go ahead and wax this, uh, or do as much as we can. Oh, there we go, one pass. All right, maybe I'm warming up to the guns. Maybe I'm feeling them a little bit more now. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully that bomber went down. Yeah, it looks like he did. We're gonna hover here and see if we can take this one. We're fast, that's for sure. All right, he might burn out. We'll find out in a second here. See if we can get somebody else on that one. There we go. There's why I don't like the guns. <clears throat> that should have been an easy, easy kill right there, and it was nothing. And, uh, you know, we're down three to one and down by 100 points, so I'm going to have to go hunt that bomber for the rest of this match if we want any chance of winning this, right? It's, uh, and this is the meta at tier 10, unfortunately. This is what Wargaming has chosen to go with uh, deliberately. Um, it's not very good. It's certainly not fun, but uh, but it is what they wanted to do. So that's what we're stuck with. Let's see if I can catch him on the side here. Got to deal with his guns as well. And down he goes. All right, uh, that's fun, but we really need to capture a zone here. Or it's going to get ugly fast. It's already ugly. So. And you can see my bots aren't doing anything, despite the fact that I'm putting in 
you know, 100, 120 capture points per zone. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so we got the, got the short end of the stick in the bot pool as well. Three, two, one. All right. He's down. Unfortunately, the others are out of the zone at this point. And um, just not sure how successful I'm going to be trying to shoot down uh, enemy attack uh, air defense aircraft at this point, but we'll give it a shot. going to be our strategy. We're going to let um, the anti-aircraft uh, guns whittle him while we clear out uh, points by killing other bots in this sector. And uh, in the meantime, like I said, we'll let the AA deal with him. Is, there we go. There's a hunter down here somewhere. Yeah, I think this is a lost cause. Indeed it is. So there you go. Uh, a, a plane at tier 10 that I'm going to absolutely positively hate. Uh, <laughs> there's no, no two bones about it. Um, it's not to say it's not good. It is. Uh, but I'm going to hate it. And I'm probably not going to fly it much. That's, that's the bottom line. All right. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. I think I got him at squall line, hopefully. Hopefully he's out. We'll find out. This is the point where we can make our money. We can get down a couple of these other planes. Good, we got that. Come on. All right, there we go. Nope, I guess we missed him by one. It's all right. We will do it again. side. Let's see if we can get that, because if we can... Oh, of course. Of course. One second off. Unfortunately, that might have just sealed the game in their favor. Still haven't captured that zone over there. Driving me batty. I mean, the bots have just done nothing this match. Absolutely nothing. Yep. Nada. So you can see great personal points, which I'm sure is part of why people love this plane so much, but 
in terms of actually being able to win battles <laughs> and capture zones with it. Not sure I'm going to enjoy that. Um, so we'll play another one just to see how it goes. Hey, pirate. One of my Drax clan mates over there. Uh, 15 destroyed, but only two sectors captured. This is, this is the issue. Um, if I had done the flight plan I did, flying over the map the way I did in any other plane, I would have had at least four captures. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe it was just the bots. We will dive back into this and find out if, uh, if there's maybe something else to be said for it. In the meantime, uh, this is a good place to say to you, I'm happy to hear your feedback and your pointers on the XF90. Um, you know, what am I doing wrong with it? What could I be doing better with it? How do you gear yours up? Um, you know, what would you suggest to a new player in it? Um, <clears throat> and of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you are welcome to do that here. So we're against a specialized XF90 and an EF131 and a J7W2. Uh, so if you ever wonder why people quit at the beginning of the match and just exit the game and move on, this is why. Uh, this is exactly where the struggle in the game lies, especially at the tier 10 meta. And that is that there is absolutely no chance for me to beat that opposing flight. And there's no way for a J7 to outcap the EF131. So it's just not going to happen. Um, you know, we can do what we, what we want, uh, and I'm sure we'll have a good game, good match personal points-wise. Uh, but you might as well scratch this as an L right now. It's, it's not going to be any other, any other outcome. The only chance we would have is if we also had a specialized heavy and bomber flight on this side of the map, which, of course, we do not. Yes, that is an LA-15 on my tail. All right, so we can guess, we can assume the enemy bomber is over there at the command center. There you go. There's, again, the guns not being, um, being what they could be or should be. Wondering if he's flying low to avoid detection. Could be. He could have gone to the mining plant. That would be interesting. I wouldn't have ex anticipated him going to the garrison first. But perhaps they were worried about me uh, getting there and... Dealing some damage. It's interesting. We'll see. Yep, he's over there. With support, of course. In the form of his flight mate. Gonna be a capture for them. what it is um, in case you weren't looking at the map my um, partner there switched to an FJ1 that's not going to help uh, if you were in a bomber or maybe another heavy fighter that would help 
but unfortunately this is not going to happen. All right, so this is part of the thing. Uh, that's a great defensive fighter uh, for flying defense, but it's not going to do anything to help us in terms of winning, right? It's not going to help us with the offense, and, and what we need badly is offense at this point. Uh, they can afford to split. I don't think it's going to matter what I do here either. Um, yeah, he's just gonna get right. Fair enough. of bad guns. This guy. So the question is, is this one of those planes that you have to have specialized to do well in uh, to really make it shine? And unfortunately, that is the case with many of these tier 10 aircraft. Um, and uh, and I think the XF90 probably falls under that category. So uh, we'll do one more and we'll change tactics this time because obviously this plane is pretty useless for capping zones. It just moves too fast, right? Which is also why, by the way, um, you know, from what I understand from other pilots, nobody really builds it for speed. It's it's already too fast, right? Uh, really, you just want to build it maneuver, and of course, make sure your guns can. Uh, hit things and do damage, particularly since you're going to be time on target very, very little, very, very short windows, right? So we're going to, at this time, instead of um, trying to capture zones, which, as you can see, I'll show you again here, we didn't do anything up. We got two zones again. Um, you can't win games capping only two zones. That just, just doesn't work that way. So instead, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into the next match and we're going to do nothing but hunt bombers. That's all we're going to do the entire time. Uh, bombers and ground attack aircraft. Uh, we're not going to do zones at all. We're not going to worry about that. I'm not going to make that a part of uh, the match or the game. We're going to ignore everything that the game has been teaching you to do for the last nine tiers. And uh, we're going to do the exact opposite. <laughs> we're going to just hunt one particular type of aircraft. And the question is, will that make a difference? If question number one is, or do we have a flight on the other side again? We don't. That's helpful. We do have an EF-131 specialized, um, but he does not have a heavy partner to flick us off uh, of him. So and that's just the F-86 which I'm fairly sure we can deal with in terms of avoidance, right? <clears throat> so that's all we're going to do. We're not going to cap zones. We're just going to make uh, Colonel Angus's life a living hell. And I apologize in advance, Colonel, but um, that is how the game works at Tier 10 for heavy fighters. Again, we'll make a little brushing pass here. I don't know where he's going to head first. We'll find out. But... Um, for now, we'll see if we can whittle down, add to the capture points in this zone. All right, so my guess would be he's at the opposite side in that, uh, that area there. Okay, so here's a bomber. We're gonna go straight for this bomber right here. We're not gonna worry about uh, too much of anything else. We'll go ahead and hit this on the way, just because we can. 
and it'll help buy us some time. Again, we're approaching from the side. Oh, we're just too, again, this is too fast, right? Ruttering the wrong way. That's right, we'll let him uh, get into his zone there. Oh, he was just outside of it. It's a little hard to tell with the uh, overlay on the AA guns up there. We'll go ahead and see if we can punch this 262's ticket. Since we're in a good trailing position. If the guns hit, they hit. Do they work? Are they alive? You see a big broadside target like a bomber? Sure. Uh, smaller target? Not so much. <laughs> All right. We don't know where the other bomber is. Oh, there he is. He's south of us. All right. Very good. There he is. Okay. Very good. We're going to go ahead and punch him down now. That's what I mean. I'm probably over-accelerating here. chance to uh, punch our ticket. Let's clear a dangerous I-215 while we're here. Good. And let's go find another bomber. Yep, he's back over here. Belly attack. The first couple hundred HP off. Let's go under him. Tail gun, less of an issue. And down he goes. Alright, there's the other enemy bomber. We're going to stay true to our word. very long unless we get some capture points. Oh my god, these guns are just killing me. Yeah, uh, see, the, the, the failure of the guns there cost us this rocket base uh, because we could not get the last 50 HP off of that guy because um, these guns are just uh, not good. Not good at all. I have a name. Let's see if I can call for some help there. We've got a 215 on our tail. Dive out, loop around, and come back. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, as you can see there. So we're going to have to dive away. Keep diving. And stay out. All right. Just as well. We promised we would go hunt bombers. We are hunting bombers. And we are going to let someone else deal with the F 86. like um, not only is it just better when specialized, it feels like this plane has been balanced around specialization, which is true of several of the planes in 2.0 where there's just uh, there's not um, the planes are only um, they, there was no attempt at balance made um, you know, figure out what the planes might do well or bad or where they needed buffs or a lack of buff hey, there's your guns again <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's a great plane. Um, yeah, I just because uh, it's specialized, I would have, you know, obviously a pretty incredible uh, GOA gas-separated action on this to make up for 
you know, the, the lack of DPS that I've been able to bring to bear on some of these planes uh, because of that window, right? Um, there we go. All right. There's our enemy bombers back over here. Let's get somebody on the F-86. Squall line incoming. Good to know, because we do need to deal with that. The Seahawk sitting up here. Skull line, we're gonna hunt this bomber down, he's gonna be out of the game. We're gonna dive. Then we need to go under. Save our HP, especially since we're at squall line. And then we're gonna come up underneath. Of course there's not much time left anyway. But we're gonna take it. There we go, we'll get one more at the buzzer. So, folks, what have we learned tonight? He said, drawing close to the microphone. <laughs> uh, hunt bombers. If you're in a tier 10 heavy fighter, you yeah, hunt bombers. Your job is hunting bombers. There's nothing else you should be doing other than hunting bombers. That's all that matters. Um, you have to do that because of the simple fact that bombers are so overwhelmingly powerful at tier 10. Uh, there is no other meta. There is no other strategy. It's simply this. It's simply kill bombs, kill bombers. Uh, so as you can see there, you know, six of eight. I think I got one, one attack aircraft. Yeah. No, no, no ground attack aircraft. Six bombers. All six of those were bombers. So I get assistance in a ground attack. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Uh, but there you go. Um, so now I know. I am I am uh, aware of how to use the XF90. Uh, and I will go ahead and use it in that capacity. Um, I'm going to specialize it, of course. I've got a stack of tokens waiting to do that. Um, given the number of aircraft going down in each match, I will probably kill 117 planes uh, before I decide to spend tokens. That'll save me a good bit and allow me to maybe speed along some other projects. Um, I will also... At the next paint sale, go ahead and put the, uh, the concealing camouflages on it. Um, that's winter. That's marine. Oh my gosh, that's hideous. <laughs> Orange and blue. I don't know. There might be a nose cone somewhere in here that works for that. This one? Okay. Hey, actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I, I could live with that. It works good on that one, too. That's fine on that. Looks great on that one, actually. Yeah. Okay. So now we know. Now we know what nose paint and what um, uh, what we're gonna do. Oh, that's kind of nice too. Actually, hold on. Indulge me. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't really match, does it? That is cool though. I like that one a lot. Anyway, um, we will put some paint on it next time. Other than the parade camo that we have here, um, and just the simple simple nose cone camo that I bought along with that. And uh, we're gonna keep working on this pilot. Um, we've almost got enough to drop Eagle Eye and add in probably our dynamics experts. Um, and uh, then uh, once we're from there, we might add in, we might drop that and do um, resilience, maybe. Just because I know, you know, some of these bombers are tricky and you don't always get great angles on them. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me tonight for this live gameplay and commentary. <clears throat> you can hear my frustration. You can tell I obviously... Um, you know, tier 10 is 
you know, there's a reason I'm not playing tier 10 yet. I'm, I'm getting all the tier 10 aircraft and then I'll tackle the tier 10 meta. Um, it's just, to me, it's not nearly as enjoyable as the rest of the game. And, you know, maybe I'm holding out hope that something will change in the time period as I'm finishing up all of these lines. Um, but until then, uh, there you go. If you need some advice on the XF90, look at the comments below. There'll be lots of expert pilots tell you what to do and how to do it. Um, and, and I mean that in the best possible way because I'm not an expert on heavy fighters. Um, but uh, my advice, my two cents, um, would be just go chase bombers. <laughs> go, go chase bombers and hope for the best. So there you go. Hope you guys have a great uh, week in the game. I hope it's enjoyable for you. Uh, if you haven't gotten the Corsair yet, it, it's a pretty good aircraft. Um, you know Whether or not it's worth the grind or the money is up to you, but uh, it's certainly not one that's just going to sit in my hangar. I'll be taking it out and specializing it and having some fun with it for sure. And I uh, look forward to what else is coming down the pipe. I guess the, uh, the Japanese bomber will be hitting next month, probably in August. And I hope to see you in the skies as well. Later this week, I got uh, replay action for you and also some more aerial combat and something that's not an XF-90. Good luck and good hunting.